Good afternoon. It is March the 6th, 2023, coming to you from the Park West Galleries here on the Enchanted Princess. And uh, this is the biggest exhibit of Peter Max paintings that I've seen on any cruise ship. I've been on here a long time, but they have 38 Peter Max paintings. And let me show you, this one right here is an original. And how you depend on on what each one of the paintings are. You have originals. This one here goes between 150 and $200,000, okay? But you have originals, you have mixed media, and then you have stereographs. And how it works is this. All originals have no glass encasing. So, for instance, this is another original. This is between 150000 and $200,000. This is a, with a, called No Borders. And this is obviously Queen of, of Liberty. And so all of these are originals because there's no glass. These have no glass, they're on canvas. And uh, so I'm just guesstimating on how much. This is a smaller one, so it's probably $100,000. Here's, the orig here's an original Umbrella Man. You can see Max signed up at the top but it is not enclosed in glass. So it's just the canvas. These are originals, okay? So let me keep showing you. Here's another one of uh, a smaller version of uh, No Borders right there, but it is an original because there's no glass encasing. There's the bigger one right there, okay? There's another smaller one, No Glass, original. There's a, a version of the sisters or friends, okay? No glass, original. Then you have, these are a little original ones right here. Uh, Queen, uh, Statue of Liberty. Another one on borders, okay? So I'm gonna go around and show you every one of these right here, okay? So then you have, this is the angel with one heart. It looks like almost one and a half hearts, but it is another original Max. Another original Peter Max here. Uh, the Umbrella Man. Then you have Mona Lisa, another original Peter Max. These are all probably in the neighborhood of, I'm just guessing, somewhere between forty-five and $90,000 for this size. Now, here is a stereograph. I have many of Peter Max stereographs. So number one, you can tell because it is behind glass, okay? They all are limited edition. You can see Peter Max's and then there's the number. They always have 495 total. This is number 166. It says stereograph. These will go anywhere from, it, it, it's, it's all depends on what level of a collector you are and uh, what kind of discount they're gonna give you. But generally speaking, these are all gonna be anywhere from 2,000 to $5,000 in that area, okay? Okay, here's another stereograph by Peter Max, okay? You can see, once again, behind glass, 495. You also see one of my favorites, which I have two of these. This is the angel with two hearts. And uh, this is a great one. This story goes that there was a girl that was dying in the hospital and her mother wrote Peter Max and asked if he would, uh, come if he would just send her a little postcard with a little picture and a painting and he did one better than that he actually went to her hospital room spent the whole day there and painted her and he uh, gives me goosebumps every time I think about this story it's uh, but it's the angel with two hearts um, and then back in a long time ago uh, they raised over a hundred million dollars for uh, this hospital in honor of this girl and uh, I don't know all the particulars, but uh, but it was a hundred million dollars is what they raised. And uh, but anyhow, I have two of those uh, stereographs, and they are also the edition of 495. And so this one right now is appraised over six thousand dollars, and it just keeps going up uh, very much. Here's another one. Now this is a stereograph on the borders. And you can see once again, 495. Uh, then you have one of my very favorites. 
is this is called SAGE, S-A-G-E from a different era. And this is supposedly was uh, Peter Max did this back in the 60s. And you can see it's a serograph. Um, I'm probably gonna buy this one on this cruise ship because I know my uh, special price that I got for this. I'm not gonna give up the ghost on what my price is on this. Uh, but let's just say it's a really great price. I have one of these already, but it's a red umbrella man. And you can see here, this is the shadow right down there of the umbrella man. And you can see all the vibrant colors. I have one that's mostly a red uh, colors of, of the uh, quote umbrellas. And uh, I just love that painting. And uh, you can get that painting anywhere from you're probably not going to get the special pricing, but you can get that from the Park West Gallery here for anywhere from $2,000 to $4,000. So there's some negotiations there. Okay, here's another. This is a smaller stereograph. I have this one. This is the Liberty Head. And uh, it's 400, 495 You can see how many there. And uh, these go for, these are all under two thousand dollars pretty much you got the statue of liberty another stereograph then you have this is what is called the mixed media mixed media is when it's still behind glass but there is no limited edition numbers and uh, they are in far as ratings and rankings of how expensive things are in the praise price the lowest level is these stereographs okay like i said they they uh now when i say lowest level i mean posters and things that aren't signed and numbered are way less expensive but the three levels the stereographs are are uh they're still collector's items obviously with the signed numbers okay so there is those then you have another stereograph then you have mixed media because there is no numbers so this is mixed media. These are more expensive than stereographs because mixed media means that Peter Max personally um, added some extra touches on each one of the mixed media prints, paintings. So, you know, he would go in and, and put a few extra little colors on things. A lot of times uh, you can see that uh, that's what mixed media means. Here's a... Uh, the, another Peter Max, another mixed media because it is behind glass, but there is no numbers up there. Then you have another Peter Max there, and uh, there's the Umbrella Man of Peter Max. These are all mixed medias. And then this is another Peter Max, the Angel, mixed media. I can't guesstimate on how much exactly these are going for, but they're smaller print. These are smaller ones. You can see how they're smaller. Actually, they're about, these are about, I'm going to say a size of a piece of paper, about 11 by 8, something like that. But the whole picture is going to be, uh, the whole piece is probably, you know, 2 feet by, you know, 18 inches or something like that. And I'm just kind of giving you the, <clears throat> the numbers. Like this one is probably in the neighborhood of 5 feet tall by four feet wide. These are all originals and they all go for 150 to $200,000, which we just discussed. Okay, let's go over here and see what we got. We got another, it's another, uh, this is a mother original here because there's no glass behind it. Another version of the angel with two hearts. Then we have, uh, this is mixed media right here. No, there's no number signed there. This one is, uh, Wow, this is wearing me out trying to get, okay. This one is uh, mixed media because there's no numbers. This is a bigger mixed media. Then they have uh, the two friends right here in mixed media version. There's no uh, limited edition numbers there. Uh, they all are signed by Max up here. You can see each one has Max signature. And here's, a, here's a, an unusual Peter Max, and this is also mixed media. And then you have the uh, the stars and uh, American flag with four stars, real popular on once again mixed media. 
Then you have a version of another mixed media down here, friends. Then you have another mixed media up here. Looks like some bridge um, mixed media. Then here we're back to stereographs. And these are smaller stereographs. You can see once again, 495. And uh, that's uh, that stereograph. If I'm just guessing on prices, we have this one that's mixed media. I'm gonna say it's probably 15 to 25,000. Okay, that would be my guess for that one because that was touched up by Peter Max. And uh, you can see sometimes the uh, additional paint strokes that are put on those, but this was mixed media. Peter Max did it, add it to it, okay? This right now, this is the smaller version of that exact one in the stereograph. I'm gonna say you can pick that one up for $2,000. That would be my, my guess. Um, there's another Peter Max uh, stereograph. Here's another Peter, Peter Max stereograph. Here's another Peter Max stereograph. So there's 13, 38 Peter Max paintings in here. I'm not going to go through how many originals we actually talked about, but it's a great uh, variety. And uh, how I judge uh, Park West galleries on their paintings, me personally, is that if you have a great selection of the original Umbrella Man, which we have one here who, which is uh, an original, and then you have a great one right here that is a stereograph, I have one of this size right here in my collection. Um, I don't even think it's out of the box yet, but I've had them. I got probably 10 Peter Maxes or more, but I judge a good gallery because they only have 495 of these angels with two hearts. And uh, this one will exponentially go up in value. It will be hitting ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 here. And when Peter Max, who is no longer painting, um, he just has his students painting now, uh, Peter Max is in bad health, then eventually, um, and when, unfortunately, when he passes away, his paintings will go up so much. So I'm collecting as many as I can, and I just love this one right here, which I have two of the 495 edition of the angel with two hearts. And so I always judge things on that one, Sage of a Different Air, but they have that one, the angel with two hearts, and the umbrella man. And uh, so I know this is really long, but 38 Peter Max paintings. So I'm gonna have to take a look at this one, but I know that I'm gonna purchase this one right here before I get off this cruise on Thursday. So anyhow, that is the story on the Peter Max paintings. So till then, subscribe to my channel. You'll have a really good day.